Welcome back to Add Art. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to draw the famous pop artist Andy Warhol. Now, before we do, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Add Art and hit the bell. When you do, you'll always be the first to know when I've released a new drawing like this one. But let's make a start on this inspirational artist who lived in New York in the 1960s. First, we'll begin with Andy Warhol's eyes. So one there, and one next to it. And in photos, it often looked quite blank, serious, and a bit aloof. So we'll have them half closed. Put the pupils in there. Let's put the bottom of his nose in and his nostrils. And the side of his nose. And his mouth looking quite serious. side of his face in here, he had quite a thin face, a little bump in his chin, up the other side, and he had these quite defined cheekbones as well, so let's put those in. He was also known for his unique style and this shock of white hair. Let's just make that a little bit darker at the back there. And put his eyebrows just underneath the hairline. Now he'd often wear a polar neck jumper, which were all the rage in the 1960s, so let's put one of those on him. And he liked to wear a lot of black too, so let's give him this leather jacket. We'll have his arms crossed. So that's arm coming up. Have a bit of the polar neck poking out the sleeve there. And have his hand holding onto his other arm. Bring the other hand through here. off this leather jacket. Bring the sleeve down so that the fingers are just resting on that and then curve it up and around across his arms. Now let's draw a camera here as Andy was also interested in taking photos and making films. And one of his films called Sleep is six hours long and just features his friend sleeping. Have that attached around his neck. Bring it under his arm and come up the other side there. Just bring the edge of the jacket up, put a pocket in and do the same the other side. his trousers in. Okay, well let's start putting his artwork up. So we'll bring a line down and then through the centre put another line. We'll halve those boxes on either side. Because in 1961 Andy came up with a concept of featuring mass-produced products in his art. And he called this style pop art, pop being short for popular. And in the same way that tins of soup, like this one, are mass-produced in factories, Warhol repeatedly printed his subjects over and over and over again. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to draw lots of tins of soup. And unlike some artists, Andy wanted to become rich and famous, and he once said, good business is the best art. As his paintings became more and more popular, he soon became a celebrity in his own right, and he opened a cool new studio in New York called The Factory, where he would host big parties and hang out with actors and models and bands like The Velvet Underground. Now, he printed a can of Campbell's soup using silkscreen, so 
that's what we're drawing here. Now Andy Warhol claimed to have eaten Campbell's tomato soup every day for lunch for 20 years, but he was also known for making up stories, so I don't know if that's entirely true. Besides soup, Andy also created prints of famous people of the time, including the rock and roll singer Elvis and actresses Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor. Now Campbell's Soup had this little logo in the middle, so I'll bring a line across. Now Warhol said in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. So I'm going to write, add soup on these. On this one, art soup. So we have add art soup. But you could write your name on them. Or if you don't like soup, you could repeatedly draw something else, like a banana. And when Andy was printing his pictures, he'd often use really bright colours to help the images pop. Now Andy died in 1987, but his images are as pop today as ever. One of his paintings, Silver Car Crash, sold for an incredible $105 million. And there we have it, Andy Warhol and his pop art. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with that one today, and I hope it inspired you to find out more about pop artists. Who knows, perhaps one of you will be famous in the future. Now, before I go, just a reminder to check out all the other ad art tutorials like these on my channel. You can do this by clicking on my double pencil profile picture. Also, if you like this video, do please give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel grow. Finally, if you know someone who loves to draw, why not share ad art with them and draw together? But that's it for today, and I hope to draw along with you again soon on ad art. Bye for now.